Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Pub Table Racers. It's the last one of June. June. For 2021. Yeah. That's it. Good. Uh, my name is Tim Packman. So next to me is... Warren Brissett. And we appreciate you guys being with us tonight. My brother from Vegas just tuned in. Um, we welcome you to the show. Uh, the news, uh, let's talk real quick. You went to Pocono. I went to Pocono, got a little sunburned. A little sunburned. How doubleheader? How'd you like it? Uh, it's a lot of work for the guys. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, I like it. We got two races in, yeah. in, in one weekend, so... It, that pays off. That also helps the guys. They got to work a little harder, but then yep. we're going to get a weekend off here probably. Okay. Because of it. Um, are the racing, I like the racing, not no, really. Wrong Pocono package. is. Wrong package. I, I don't know that you're ever going to find a good package for Pocono. Okay. It's just it's so aero dependent. Once you're out in front, it's really hard to pass. Uh, really hard to pass behind anyone. Right. Um, the only guy that didn't seem to have any problems passing was Kyle Larson, of course. Well, up until. Uh, up in, well, <laughs> up until he used up his tip front tires. Yeah, and he had trouble passing in that You know, I, I, I thought I heard a gunshot. You know, I'm going to use a grassy knoll theory. I thought someone finally shot out that tire. Right, yeah. And and he wrecked. Okay, you know? that's what you thought. I well, there was camping, full camping there. You know, right. it is the woods of Pocono. <laughs> it's fun. yeah, whatever. Okay, and then congrats. Uh, well, uh, guys, Austin Cedric, Austin, Cedric congrats to you. Good job. Great, yes. Um, uh, we had some um, some fines were handed down this weekend, like plenty of them. So the um, twenty two car uh, got on Sunday, twenty two car eighteen uh, were penalized five uh, k each to the. Uh, Car Chiefs, and then uh, I think from Sunday... The 22 car got a... Wait a minute, first. No, I'm sorry, from Saturday, it was the 4 car, the 12 car, 18 car, and the 23. All got $10,000 lug nut fines. Okay. And then there was a, another one on the other day, uh, the 18 uh, got fined again, so it's 15 grand, but I think he made up for it on Sunday winning. Uh, and Once Mike, you take the shifter boot off, business picks up. <laughs> I, I got to give Kyle. I, I, I don't. Uh, okay, listen, go listen to me. In a, in, a, in an arrow thing, in the arrow world, yep. taking a shifter boot off is is better yep. for arrow. Okay. Okay. I get that they had to do it to work on his mm -hmm. transmission, but sure. they should have made him put it back on. He finished the race without a shifter boot. That is a required part. Got it. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Okay. I, I'm not. So, Someone sitting at home. Not, why, I'm why? not. Why is it, I'm not bitching and moaning, I but it's like... What's the advantage taking off the shifter boot? Someone it's it's an aero advantage, and How? it would be a lot for me to go through to okay. explain. Real it's, quick. It's an underbody aerodynamic advantage that creates downforce. Got it. So the air comes through and comes up? It's, it, and it comes through, comes up, goes out the window. It's... And push it okay. Yeah. That's it. See, that's basically, there you go. Got it. Um, let's, and Micah Horton, uh, car chief... Uh, Joe Gibbs Racing is indefinitely suspended for behavioral. It came out today, too. I don't know what he did. I'm not going to speculate or anything. Uh, don't forget, folks, we are... He threw some M&Ms at somebody who didn't like it. Who knows what behavioral... It must have happened be. after the race, Could right? Have been. I don't know. We not, there's no uh, film at 11 on it. So. Right. Hey, everybody. We really appreciate you watching us every Tuesday night on Pub Table Racers. And Warren and myself say thank you. But we need a thank favor. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. As Elvis would say. Cheers. Cheers. We need you to do us a favor. On our YouTube channel, just give us a subscribe. It's free. We appreciate it, and that's all we really need. Right. Also, check out our website. What do we have there, Warren? We have uh, clothes. We have uh, hats. Right. We have uh, tumblers. Tumblers, yeah. And, you know, anything else you need that it has to say Pub Table Racers, we'll make it. <laughs> and we have children's books, award-winning children's books, too, so check them out. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. YouTube, subscribe, totally free. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Appreciate you. Anyhow, um, also, a quick reminder, we are on YouTube. All we ask is you go subscribe. If you watch a few of them, we appreciate it. Pub Table Racers. Also, if you want to see our ugly faces, we are also on um, Apple, Spotify, Google Podcasts. Uh, go just have to listen to us there. And also, um, if you want some of these fine merchandise we have here, like the hats and also the uh, tumblers, tumblers and T-shirts. We have plenty of black T-shirts. Go get them. Uh, go to our website, pubtableracers.com, and uh, that's where you get our merchandise. Perfect. Uh, perfect. Um, we got to hit Brad. We got Brad, hit Darren. Um, and we Brad, hit our sponsors are. Thank you. Uh, we'll start off tonight with right behind you, RacingJunk.com. Check them out. Buy, sell, trade. Anything and everything you need that has wheels, they have it. Uh, Darren Russell from Rapid Removal. He has the 20-yard containers. Right. Gets in tight spaces. Yep. And how does he do it? His, sh Your shit is his bread and butter. Exactly. So if you're remodeling, uh, demolition, or want to get rid of some relatives right. or kids, uh, call him. He'll park it right Bury in there. Bury a body, whatever. That's, 
<laughs> he will holler out of there. Uh, Darren Russell, look him on Facebook. Great guy, works at Team Penske. And also our number one, A number one, um, Lake Norman Patio Game Room. Uh, go see Brad and JoJo. They're on Brawley School Road, near Canvas Back and Oak. Um, new thing he has now, a wine bar, wine barrel bar, and wine barrel furniture. Absolutely cool. Really cool. That's good. And any kind of outdoor furniture, yep, he has poolside it. furniture, yeah. really, really nice stuff. High quality. Are you ready for an upgrade? Need to refresh that patio? Want to add more fun to your home? Lake Norman Patio and Game Rooms makes it fun to stay at home. We offer a huge selection of high quality outdoor furniture, pool tables, shuffleboard, ping pong, and much, much more. Your oasis awaits. So don't miss the boat. Take your patio or game room up to the next level. Lake Norman Patio and Game Rooms. Stop in today or visit us online at lknpatio.com. Um, we have a question here from uh, Dan Lynch. By the way, Dan, what do you think next week? Dan? Hey, Dan, if you're go ahead. You can ask him. You work Dan, with him. you're coming on next week. <laughs> That's our way of asking. <laughs> uh, he said, where's the bucket? You have one job. I know. This whole show. I know. I'm a pretty face, he tells me. Yeah. I get the guests. I do the Usually research. I'm pretty good with the beer, too, right? So what do we, have? we don't have a bucket. We don't. Oh, have what? Wait, we have a question from a guy there. Yes. Uh, hey, I got a bucket here for you. Hey, hey, why don't you give it in? How about this one? <laughs> I like that one. Yeah. Perfect. Look at here. Look at here. <laughs> We'll get, we'll get that straight out there. Yeah, there's your bucket. Look, at he even bring his own beer. His own beer. Ladies and gentlemen, carry your hand. I know, I know you're a little Yeah, you got to put that in there. And, you know, all right. First of all, these. Uh, it's good. These are nice. These are good. It's the ale. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's really cool. It's uh, actually uh, Old Armor Brewery down in downtown Kannapolis. Yep. Old Armor Beer Company, actually. They. Uh, um, contacted me about doing some charity events and stuff and we end up making a beer so very nice. kind of cool one, right. very nice it's been good it's, it's sold out in uh, nine days and i found out i have two batches instead of one okay and uh so usually one batch will take about a month but mine was nine days and two batches okay. so right. so, so, so this the next one's coming out I, another another one of yours it's another, same, it's another same, signature it's series the same Got it. Uh, Flavor of the ale. Okay. And it's coming out Friday, this coming Friday, the third batch. So I'm excited about that. And we are working on a new flavor. Okay. Okay. For down the road. So I'm, you know, so I'm a beer connoisseur. Like people drink wine yep. and I drink beer. So okay. I'm going to give this a shot here. All right. This is, your, this is Warren's first sip of this. I've had a few. Um, now be honest. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Because I know what you drink. So I'm not an IPA guy. It's not an IPA No, guy. no. I, 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 this is... This, I would I would drink these no problem. Really? Because wow. it, yeah, because it, it's That's a pretty good endorsement from. It's pretty nice. It has a hint of hop. It, it, it's hoppy. a little hoppy. Not bad. Um, it almost reminds me of some of the pilsners that my wife likes to right. drink. I bet you this is light. I, I didn't pour it in the glass. It is, it is light. It is light. Yeah, it is light. Yeah, so. and and it, no, it's it's uh it's good. It's it's a little sweet. It's good. I, I like that the hop. It, it's not like right. It's not but <laughs> Which I'm a big IPA guy. I love IPA. You like the bitter yeah. IPAs? Yeah. <laughs> you know. Oh, and then we did cheers. Yeah, cheers. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Well, cheers. Well, I would join y'all, but my wife's got me on this little That's fine. diet thing going yeah. on this week. It's what? for a seventh day. Well, we you got a, you're in good shape. Are you cleansing yourself? I got a daughter. With, yes, some okay. kind of cleansing. It's called yeah. Prolon. Okay, got and, it. And uh, it's just good to you know, flush out and everything. That's fine. Right. We got a wedding coming up my... Yeah, my oldest daughter is getting married on the 18th of and September. You got to fit in new. Yeah, you got to get, get rid of that. The dinner also. Yeah. <laughs> so why is thinking of the dress thing? Too. Okay, got it. So it's okay if we drink these? Yeah, right? yeah. Okay. I'd leave y'all one, uh, two a piece. <laughs> You're the man. Well, what what uh, what's the alcohol content on these? Because it's five point five. Okay, five five. That ain't bad. So that's like a yeah, standard lager. I understand. So first of all, the, the name Adventure with an Attitude. Where's the, where's the slogan right. come from? Well. <laughs> The guys I work with, Kyle and uh, mainly Kyle, right. but Kyle and Stefan, they kind of been going through some pictures of me back in my racing days, and mm -hmm. they found this one that had the uh, business in the or yes. business in the front and party in the back. Mullet, the mullet, right. the mullet going out. Yep. And so that's where the attitude comes from. Got it. Yeah. Okay. I'm always adventurous, so sure. adventure with an attitude. Yeah, Perfect. yeah, nice. That wasn't my plan. And it fits. <laughs> it fit. 
Um, we're good. Too. I think, and we talked that that picture. I think they cut out the other person. Yeah, who had the identical like, haircut. It was actually me and Dell Junior. Right on each side of Dad. Right on okay. each side. Right, and they just took and cut Dad and Dell Junior out and had that picture of me. <laughs> all right, all right. Did he have that? And it's he had there. It's on these little character cards and sure. everything, so everybody's seen it. <laughs> and he had the blonde Goldilocks going yeah, on. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. He did. <laughs> I did. I just had. Right. I had all my curls. All your curls. Yeah. yeah. Right. I um, think I might have seen that. I think I was like 20 years old. All right. So, Earnhardt Outdoors. So, that's explained. So, there's a, it's tied in with uh, charity. Yes. Uh, well, we had a, a Sunhorn Outdoors. We tried to bring all the kids in outdoors. And, you know, me and my brother Dale and Kelly all partnered in doing this. And, you know, through times, things were hard with their traveling and their time they had invested with, you know, the racing side. And we just never get done, do things a whole lot together. So, We've regrouped and I've taken it back over. Okay, and so it's just me. It's just solely me. Got it. And uh, we're working with, like I said, all our beer company. We're uh, the charity. The funds from this are going to go to an outdoor charity. Okay. Uh, it's called Freedom Hunters out of Colorado. Uh, they do a lot of things with veterans, whether they want to go hunting, fishing, hiking, Perfect. biking, whatever. They, they help take them out. out. Yeah, yeah. that's a, 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 like a really good deal, man. I say thanks for doing that. I appreciate it. Yes, yes. yes. And, uh, um, it's a big, it's a big organization. I mean, it's got a lot of backers behind it. Um, good friend of mine, David Allen, but he used to be with Dad with yep. AC Delco. He's a nut. And uh, he, I know David. he was part of the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, and uh, he. You know, mentioned this group to me, and I looked them up, and they're pretty strong. So yeah, I know it's honest. It's hard to find and know someone you can trust. Right, you're going to give the money to, and it's going to go for what it's supposed to, to do. Right, supposed to. and not just yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. they don't just take. Oh, we're going to give twenty five percent. Right. These guys are going to keep saying right. no. It no, sounds they, like they're uh, they're, they're good. They're deal. grounded. They give yeah. it all toward it. So okay, pretty exciting. All right, so Old Armor Beer Company in Canapolis. Uh, it's owned by two veterans, and uh, I've been down there a couple times now. And love love the ambiance, love the layout. Um, the, the fermenters are named after like Kyle Kelly. Uh, Kyle the, Kelly, yeah, Kyle the, Kelly, the sharpshooter. Oh, 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 no, 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 Theme. Yeah. So there's a board that you can talk about. It's called Pay It Forward. Yeah, it's, 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 it's like it's military. I mean, yes, yeah, military, right. um, EMT, police, fire. Uh, I think there's seven of them on there. You could actually go in and buy a beer for a military or police or fireman that come in to get a beer. It comes off the board. So right. you pay for their beer. And the two times I've been there, the hashtags, the little Indians, they're like, all in all, I'm like, how do you get rid of them? Sometimes we'll just say it's Navy it's, night. But so oh, what okay. happens is the Navy guys will come in, I'm speaking for myself, and they'll take one or two off the board, but they end up leaving putting more, three more or four on yeah. So now they're back to yeah. <laughs> yeah. it grows. Back I mean, yeah. Every time I go in, it's I think it's three dollars a beer, or you can do twenty four dollars for the whole beer of uh, whole board, right? And I just do the whole board every time right. I go in. Nice. Good. So this is pretty good. I, I got yeah, yeah. yeah, can I, can I, would you like a glass? Can I, I would like to put this in a glass. Go ahead, go get a glass. Give me a glass. Give a bar, right? And then I got a, I got a question. Hey, right, so we got people commenting right so here. So where going? <laughs> <laughs> this is the part where. <laughs> All right, so uh, we got people saying hello. Uh, Wally McCarty says, major upgrade in your guests for tonight better than last week. <laughs> well, <laughs> Wally McCarty was our guest last week. <laughs> he's, he's picking on himself. Um, Joe oh, Fett, that can't doing be great. Hope you are also. Oh wait a minute. Uh, if you don't mention Priest, uh, Ryan Priest. So I mentioned him. Yeah. Sorry about that. <coughs> uh, Diane Gonzalez, Sammy's wife. Yeah, I'm Diane. How you doing, Diane? Uh, I see her every day at Lowe's Foods. I go shopping. <laughs> She's always there. Uh, Joe Fett says shots. He's a racer out of Buffalo. Nancy Johnson says hi. Paula Hornaday. Oh, uh, yeah. My sister says hey. Uh, Nancy Johnson says she's going to be down in Canapolis on Friday. Awesome. Stop, stop the old stop and check it out. Yeah, uh, I'll be pissed if you don't mention Priest, right? Priest, uh, mention him. Uh, Ryan Priest. Uh, <laughs> we got it. Walter uh, says you like beer. Uh, Alex Wood. So Hank Parker Jr. It's, it's, it's got a little frost. Beautiful it. color, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So uh, they get brewery tours. <laughs> Well, I mean, when you walk in, you see it all. Okay, so you can it's all right. Right. It's all wide open. Nothing's, yeah, I mean, you can't go enough. back beyond the, the you know, right. bats unless you know you ask them. They may take you back and show you. When I was uh, when I was eighteen, 
It was uh, the drinking age in Wisconsin, the legal drinking age was 18. 18. We used to leave high school, me and some of my buddies, we'd go to Miller Brewery and take the uh, uh, tour because you got free beer. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. So we did, yeah. Yeah. So we, we did that like every other week for a month, and finally the guy said, hey, guys, once a month. <laughs> 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 Once a month, like you guys are the you know, payroll. Uh, speaking of beers, uh, Dave Shadat. There you go. Yeah. Dave. So, Dave. look at week. I'm just going to read part of it. I'm not going to go. He says, <laughs> oh, when, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. when when Carrie first got the super, super cuts ride, we tested Daytona. Dale Jr. and you uh, went out the night before, uh, then tested maybe not feeling so good the next day. <laughs> Uh, and then he'll think they even oh they have a demo derby with their crew and the yeah. rental cars the next day. <laughs> well, well, you know, <laughs> we did. We hung out with Dale Junior and his group for a while, and we got up next morning, and I went and tested, and of course Dale Junior didn't show up. So I <laughs> hit him up. This man, where you at? He said, oh, I flew home this morning. What? Yeah, he got on the plane, went home. But we tested all day and had a good test, and <laughs> over Richie Gilmore and all them guys were there picking on me, but we. We stood in there. You yeah. stood in it. You showed up. You yeah, yeah. He always I was there all day. Mm -hmm. he there at the test, he always toughed it out. It started mm -hmm. out at the L House, Daytona L House. Oh, yeah. Out there and ate dinner and played some games of pool and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, just hanging out and getting caught up. That's it. Yeah. It's just you know, reacquainting. Uh, uh, John Hain, that's my uncle out of Florida, says, Hey, guys, where can I get some of this beer from? It's pretty you much. Gotta come to Canapolis. Gotta come to come Canapolis, John. Hey. Family visit, come on. Family visit, yeah. that's it. Uh, he's coming to Bonneville Salt Flats with me in a oh, couple of weeks. Oh, awesome. Uh, you know, I don't see. know if you go to your local uh, fancy, like, Total Wine, but here's what the can looks no, like. No, it won't be there. It's, it's only, there. only, in, only, it's, it's only, only at the brewery. That's it, that's it. Huh? Yep. Hold on. Okay. Oh, um, our beer company. And actually, it's, it, here's let me put it for you. It's between the baseball stadium and your dad's statue. Is that safe to say? Well, it's, it's right there at dad's statue. Right. Like you walk out the back door, there's dad's yeah, statue. Yeah. That's kind of a neat yeah. place for it. Yeah. That's pretty it's cool. It's really cool. Well, we got him watching over us. Tonight. I know. He's <laughs> always over top of me. <laughs> Looking down. <laughs> Boy. I can hear him saying oh, that. The stories I can uh, yeah, I know. All of us <laughs> got him. Yeah. Um, he put me on my knees in the lunch yeah. line. <laughs> Because he <laughs> wanted to <play>. Yes. <laughs> yes. But play. you're short. You didn't have far to go. No, but that's that's right. Right. Olives. All he wanted was olives. Yeah, yeah. Really that far <laughs> <right>. <laughs> All right. So you had your race. First of all, how's the family doing? Let's catch up. They're doing great. Okay. Uh, so let's talk. Okay. The wife, beautiful as always. Yeah. And then, so the kids, real quick, we got a. We got Rob. All right. Lord, we got, are, we got Bobby, which is my oldest one. Yep. 25. He's, you know, was working pipeline and doing different things. Mm -hmm. And then Jeffrey, he's 33 racing. Really? Um, yeah. Okay. He's right there, 32 to 33. So he's um, with uh, JD Motorsports? Yeah, he's with Jeff, Johnny Davis Motorsports. Right. And you know, very supportive of him, been you know, behind him all these years. And then we got Blade, our oldest daughter. She's 27, get ready to be 28. Gosh. She's a deputy clerk, Court Fire County, get ready to get married in September. So that's why we're toning up. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have. Us too. <laughs> and then we have Kayla, our youngest daughter, the fearless one. Um, she rodeos. Competes, you know, all over. We go. We actually going to. Wow, we got a month long trip coming up. We going, <laughs> you go to South Point. You went to South Point stuff. South in Las Vegas. Uh, by Brandon. Uh, we don't do that anymore. Okay, we could, but we that's too far. Um, so we're going to Oklahoma. On we leave the eighth of July. Go to Oklahoma, rodeo there for a week. Go to Nebraska, rodeo there for a week. Come home the twenty eighth area. Turn around the first week of August to take her back to Oklahoma and drop her off for college. And she just oh, signed really? a scholarship. Yes, leaving her. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? It, so is it a barrel? Is she a barrel racer? Well, she does. It's actually barrel. She does barrel racing, right. pole bending, goat tying, and breakaway racing. Okay. And, and she got a scholarship, partial scholarship. Yep, scholarship we, well, she got a full time wow. ride to um, Oklahoma State University, and she made the rodeo team out there. That's also. amazing. So, so horsing around finally paid off. Horsing around paid right. There you go. Perfect. Maybe we'll see her in She Yellow always Star. says that you know, don't, you know, do these little interviews. Says, well, you know, my family's in NASCAR racing and everything, yeah. but I drive real horse power. That's what she does. <laughs> what is that? Yeah. Well, she's going to say anything because she does. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. That's true. Yeah. Uh, okay, a lot of people are talking about here. Uh, loved it on the download. Um, learned about your family. Awesome. That was fun. That was good. Um, yeah. Did you... So what's, what's the reaction you've had from that? Because... It, I mean, I'm not saying I know you, know you. I'm not going to claim that, right. but having been around you and the family, and you, you learn a lot. But there was stuff that I was like, "Oh, I didn't know that." Yeah. But you, you, you opened up. You were very. Was it because it was your well, brother? I mean, it's just, it's just, you know, it's just my life. Yeah. You know, 
Everybody thinks because, you know, or some people think, I guess you could say, because we're up here in the elite racing world, that we're not like everybody, but we right. are. Oh, no. Um, you know, I, I, everybody's I, the same. We all have right. our ghosts and demons in the closet. Yes. And we all have, you know, family members that are different. And we have, we have all, all have the same stuff. But it's nothing bad. It's all just what we have. It's, 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 it's what you go through as in it life. Is. It's the bottom line. It is. You know, I always, I, I say it like this. It, it, as long as I work there at, at DI with, with you, your dad, and your brother, and your sister, uh, you're, you're normal people. You just, yeah. you're, you're just average people who happen to be in a situation of being in the racing business that your your dad became super famous, right. your brother became famous. You're, I'll say you're semi-famous. You're, you're famous in my book. No, but I'm just you, happy. You, you know, and, and you are happy. <laughs> That's a great Every answer. time yeah. I see yeah. you, you're happy. happy. I've seen no. you at El Cerrito tonight. Life. You're happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's, you know, just good times, yeah. right? I love life. You know, you got you a great to. family and you know, great kids and good friends. And you're super normal. Yeah. Yeah. The camera's there, though. I know. He's super normal. <laughs> no, he's down there. He's looking at the crew. And he, goes, he said, he, I, when I asked me on the show, he goes, yeah, I've seen a couple episodes of you did. He goes, yeah, and you still want to come on? He goes, heck yeah, man. Yeah. It sounds like you have fun. Um, That's what it's about. So we have uh, uh, Darnell. Um, she's the, I call her the stylist of the stars. She says, hey, y'all, it's raining at Tony Stewart Speedway in Eldora. And I'm like, well, then you ought to have yourself a beer. If you yeah, it that. never That's rains right. in the man cave. <laughs> in the man cave of <laughs> people racers. Never That's it. Rains. Here, how about this picture? What do you got? Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Look at that. He pulled that out. Dude, that was good. <laughs> that was, that was, wait, wait, where's that? Hey, that, 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 that uh, this is another Pocono winner, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Now, go ahead and explain that, Kerry. So, that was our best. Guys. That was the best times we ever had. Yeah. Why is that? Um, yeah, I've raced Michigan, Pocono, Charlotte, Daytona, all these places. And this you pretty, Pocono, pretty much laid it to the This Pocono win was the best of all because Dad was there with me. Yeah. Okay, good. I uh, got in a big lane, got up on the car, stood, you know, cheering, and looked down, there's Dad. Smiling, big Perfect. as he could be. Yeah. And of course, you know, I jumped down in his arms. And Perfect. That, that made him sign that for me. I didn't have to make him do that. I don't know. Yeah. Sign that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we had a good, good crew, too. Yeah. You know, the guys. They, they got me in and out and had the yeah, car well, tuned up. You, you got us Napa guys a lot of times. Well, I, I did, the eight guys never did it for you, but no, us Napa but guys, guys always, they were always, we always wanted, wanted to do it. Yeah. I mean, they oh, guys were there occasionally. Yeah. yeah. And then sometimes it was a mixture. We had yeah. Napa and, yeah, and the one and, and, and some and of the eight. Yeah. We had everybody. So, I mean, so the four years I was at DI, the one thing I noticed, when you came around and you did something, it seemed to, like, pick everybody's spirits up. Because you, 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 when you went to work there, and I, I asked you a question, I said, where's your office? And you looked down and you pointed at your feet. It's on my feet. And I said, what do you mean? You go, that, that, that's my office. Yeah. He goes, I'm just going to go around and talk to people and get what they're saying and kind of take it upstairs and hopefully... Well, that's, that was the post okay. beat deal, but... Right. So, yeah. but you did gather your information. I, I went and talked to people and I yeah. went to the higher-ups. And you went upstairs. Yeah. And that was about it. Yeah. You're always um, very personal could talk with to all of us. Well, I mean... Think about it. You know, it's the employees that makes the company, and, yeah. and they're the ones that know what the company needs and what makes it better. Hmm. So why not no one ever and take pitched, it? Did take they pitch to you? I I could I never, never heard anybody. You. I never heard anybody no. pitch. No, you. you know why? Because you're just way too nice. No, they, they, <laughs> they didn't want to yell at no, you. No, I just we wanted to yell at Ty. Yeah, 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 I never yelled at Ty either. I mean, it was like we. I didn't have too many complaints about that place, to be honest with no, you. No. You know what I mean? They treated me so good. Yeah. So. And think about it, you know, what did you see every day that Dad was there? He walked through the whole place, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. You know, and it just meant a lot to people to see a face. Yeah. Yeah. From the company. So, so, I mean, what trait do you think you and your dad, you shared? So, what's the one trait of your dad that oh, you think you have? Did you? The, the gamer could just shoot the gamer. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, remind me we have a show going on. Hey, there's a show going on right there. <laughs> dude! Don't make Harry come in there. Shut up, shut up. He says, dude, you know? So, he, what you're hearing is Warren's 19 year old super gamer son. Dude! We lock him in, a, we don't lock him, we put him in and shut the thing. And he's in there arguing with some people, so the noise here is not voices Maybe in your head. Maybe you can't hide it. But so I, don't say, I don't know. I, 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 have, I think people tell me a lot of things. I've got like that in my walk, my smile. Yeah, your face. Right, right here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I always say just put a pair yeah. of gargoyles on the back. Yeah, you're sitting right there. Everything they say is the same. Right. And, uh, yeah, I just, 
I enjoyed you know being with dad like I said on the uh, Dell Jr. download I, di I didn't grow up with dad right. um, you know I was out of his life for a while and then when I got back into it I enjoyed you know the fussings and the yellings and you know fun times we right. had together yep. and, and memories we built um, I just it, and when I came back into his life it we just picked up from right there it wasn't like you know why did you leave me why did you know, you yeah, do right. put me up for adoption. Right. I enjoyed, you know, being able to come back in his life and, and you, you weren't you weren't pissed yeah, off about it. You understood the times we're gonna have together right. as father and son. You can't you can't redo it. Yeah. Right. Done, no, but right. you can right. You can take it from yeah. there. I thought your attitude about it was great because some people don't handle it that way. But and you know, then all of a sudden you know you're racing and you guys started out pretty basic in your race cars, didn't you? Yeah, we did. What did you do? Like two hundred dollar cars or something? Well. Like that? The street stock cars is where we started. That we had five hundred dollars sponsorship from one guy, and then Wayne's Automotive would give us all the parts we needed. Right, um, and then we had another little sponsor of two hundred dollars. So you know, we we made do with what we had. We had paid for all our crew guys, the two people that came with us to work on the car. <laughs> all of two of them. Then we <laughs> snuck in occasionally. <laughs> As a track promoter, I love to hear those. Yeah, things. I'm sure you do. <laughs> But uh, we had a good time with them people at the first down there, Concord Motor Speedway. They, they really, I think they knew what we were doing. They just kind of let it go. <laughs> nice. Sometimes it's okay to have yeah. you know, that name. Yeah. So it was you and Dale Jr. Um, sharing the ride, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. In, in the beginning, we, we did for the first probably seven or eight races, and then Dale Jr. got his car. So after we beat that one up, he got the new one, not that the old one. Didn't yeah. Kelly drive some too? Or after? After? after, or we, after? Yeah, so that was the mom and pop still, wasn't it? The Western but no, she, she drove the street stock some after we okay. went to late models. And she you know, drove late models too, but she drove she took over the street stock some races too. And uh, But then we all raced late models. So I think that was like 92. All three. three, three 94, yeah. yeah. And you, what, the we had a three year deal with Western mom and pops. Okay, yep. um, in uh, Bennett's Barbecue, <laughs> um, I can't remember the other one, uh, Western Susan. Yeah. Um, and, and who took care of your stuff? Well, was it was a different people. I mean, I did a lot of it. Um, yeah. Dad was always there, and we had a guy named uh, Larry Wayne Williams. He was crew chiefing sometimes and kept keeping the car up at his place. And we went from being at the deer head shop to being in the warehouse. Where the paint booth was, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. being mm -hmm. over to Larry Wayne's. Okay. All right. So we know you're driving, you know, Dale Jr., Dale K is going to the Hall of Fame. Yep. Your sister, where did, where, did, where did she rank in that hole? Well, where was her? Well, I mean, we raced together some, and I'm, I think she quit before we did and went into the business side yeah, of it. You know, like running the business. Mm -hmm. Right. It was probably a good thing she did. <laughs> so, well, here's the, the, hey, I mean, here's what gets me. I, you know, and, she was and, a pretty good driver. Yeah, that's, uh, right. I, I, that's yeah. what I, people. Oh, you, know, Kelly was way better than Gary or Dale. Yeah. And, you're like, and okay. I'm like, uh, all right, you know, it's easy to th say th that. Th yeah. Don't, don't, you know, because people say that they, to me. Yeah. And I don't, I, I have I never seen that, any yeah. any of you guys race late models, so right. I don't say nothing right. about it. But I'm like, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. You know, there was that time me and Dale Jr. raced, you know, the Bush Series together, and I wish Kelly would have continued on and been right. there with us, and that'd been big, been a fun time, that'd right? Been great. Yeah, and then we could have proved everything. <laughs> Because you would have had to, oh, we have a picture uh, coming. Really? Out. What's this one? Uh, that's Richmond. Okay. That was a good car. There's really tons of cars. Hold it, hold it still there. So, which cars are you So, have there? So, Carrie's in the uh, uh, oh, Jenny, right. Utah. Jenny King. Jenny King. Jenny King, right? And uh, Dale Jr.'s in that Gossamer yeah. okay. car that uh, actually Tim Clements and I put the bot. That, I, I got that picture because. Uh, he pulled these out of the know he had this yeah. coming. Look at that. They had Yosemite on the hood. Yosemite Yeah. Sam? Yeah. 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 That's cool. <laughs> yeah, that was Richmond. Yeah, I made you both sign it. Yeah, yeah. that's good. You made it. And then we raced, you know, side well, by side. Well, Junior had to make him kind of. Sure, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Come into the fab shop and sign. Okay. Yeah, he, <laughs> he was a little shy, you know. A little bit. But He's he not like that no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not when you have all the stuff going on. <laughs> Announcing, Dale Junior download, Lost Speedways, all that. That's you really can't cool. be shy and do that stuff. Yeah, he, he's got a good gig going on. I love he does. That. Okay. That Lost Speedway is really awesome. It, yeah. It's a neat show to watch. and. It's, and this year is going to be way more exciting and interesting than it was yeah. last year. How so? Just, they seemed like the preview went to, it was like Dale Jr. 
was more involved into it and they were making it more funny yeah if that makes sense like you know Junior sure. would crack up and make yeah. things and it's just you know more interesting stories about Myrtle Beach Speedway closing down uh, I didn't really right. know that I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why they closed down. So the preview, got, I'm like, really, it shut down? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't know it closed? No, oh, oh, damn. Yeah, they just been out of racing. Well, that's right. all right. But they close it and they sold off and they just yeah. They show you're starching road. ropes and stuff probably now for your <laughs> right, daughter. Right. You know, you got well, a lot I'm of just loading and driving and all of them. Put your shoes on your horse. But he's doing head work for life. Have you really shoot a horse? That's awesome. Take your one off and. Tag one back on. Right. Yeah. You're like a fab guy. With it's only like animal. So I didn't have to worry about him. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. Quick, what I'd call it. All right, so you talk about your brother and the transformation that let's go back to like mid 2000s to now. What do you think has been the biggest change that you've seen of him? Well, I mean, he's grown up a lot and he's, you know, gotten married to Amy and mm -hmm. then they've had the kids and that would definitely change. Oh, it, sure. You know? Right. And, and make you wake up and realize you know, what life's really about. Yeah. And, you know? I feel he's really enjoying life now. It's good. Okay. And the pressure is yeah. not to perform, right. really, it's to perform on what he's doing, but it's kind of cool when you own your own deal. Yeah. Like we do this. And that's kind of like the pressure is what are we going to do for fun this week? And, you know, having you on is great, but it's just like, well, we got shows and, you know, we don't know who's watching sometimes. But like Warren said, he went to Pocono and like people go, hey, man. Like yeah, the show, yeah. it's show you guys. He's like, I got He's like, recognized you. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> we got to over and under and how many beers you get in here. <laughs> yes, exactly. um, so as, as you're going, you're racing and you you weren't like, do you ever have a full season or you're just kind of like sporadic? Yeah, no, I ran full season in, right. in the Bush Series, number 12 car. I right. uh, ran two full seasons with that. Um, we had Jenna Keem on Hot Tamales. Uh, Hot Tamales. Uh, Peeps was on there. Yep. We had, um, of course, Super Cups was the primary yep. sponsor. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a lot of good time. Yeah. And you it was crash were, all racing. That's yeah. right. And so during that time, like, you had a, the sponsors. I always heard just loved you. Yeah. All your sponsors were like, I don't care if he finishes last. That guy's just fantastic. We had a good time. They were yeah. happy to be. Well, I would always, like I said, I, they were like my friends. Sure. You know, we the Supercuts ladies, they were there every week, the, all the races, and mm -hmm. we just hung out and you know told stories and cut up and clown around and you know the Janet King people. They were pretty cool to hang out with. Um, hot tamales and peeps, yeah, they were yeah, fun. Yeah. So, so those cars came. Some of them came through our fab right. shop. Yeah. And I always felt like we we needed to do more for you. You know, I always well, felt like 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 we gotta we gotta help carry well, think, more. You I know, because we, we all wanted you. To, well, know, everybody but, wanted you to succeed. You know. Yeah. I think I think a lot of it had to be with the team that you're with. You know, right. We had to mix together in jail, and I don't think we all did that. Yeah. Did that team. Um, you know, for some reason things changed, whatever. And like, whenever I came to DEI, I look at the sets we had. Short time we got yeah. to drive there. Um, mm -hmm. We was always competitive and up front. You yeah. Know, and I only had a couple times like that with Fitz Bradshaw racing. I think we finished second to uh, Jeff Burton. At, we had you close a couple times. Yeah, Kansas, and uh, we was top five with that Looney Tunes car running yeah. all night long. And mm -hmm. um, Mike McLaughlin got a little incident and come down and we got tangled up with him and took us out. So we were competitive there at times, but wasn't like it was at DEI. And at DEI, I felt like it was home. It was like family. All the guys that worked on the car were just like my brothers, you know. They, yeah. I knew they were in in it for me. Yeah, we're all in. You know, yeah. and, and then the outcome, it was all for everyone. Right. Um, and I just didn't have that feeling and that connection in other places I was at. Um, and I, we talked about, and we've talked about, real quick, we've got to bring up uh, the Garage Shop uh, Insider. We did a uh, Highway 3 reunion, Beyond the Gates. Uh, go check them out on YouTube. Uh, it's called the Garage Shop Insider. And we had, uh, it was myself and Warren, yeah. mm -hmm. and we had Jeff Clark, Brian Cram, Tim Clements, and Aaron Brown. And we put together, and six of us sat down and talked. And the first part was good. The second part, we got really, like, into the deep emotional. Yeah. And the bond and connection, and we posted last night, and I, we talk about that. There was something so magical about that. It place. was, and you didn't know it was go like you don't know when the good times are going on, right? Or the best times of your life right. are going on until they're over. They're gone. And then yeah. you look back and you go, "Crap!" Right. And, and like, all, yeah. all those guys who sat in chairs, even though we all all didn't get along, we all sit there and can say. When we had to move on to the next place, right. we realized that that place was the best right. place we've ever worked at. Right. Right. 
Oh, yeah. You, you know, and, and it was going to be, that was going to be the hammer. Yep. That, was. Pla that place was going to be yeah. the n number one. I mean, they, they were there. Right. And, and then you know, things happened in 2001, and right. we lost all we had, and you know, things changed from there. Yeah, it started, uh, it was it, not to be, it, it was a house of cards, yeah. right? Yep. It, we, the one card got gone, and it started. It kind of went down, yeah. you know, and. You know, I would have another one of these, but if I don't say one for my wife, she's going to kill me. Oh. Oh, so I'll say one. I'm half. That's why I'm, 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 I'm drinking. You have that. Hey, for the record, I brought these. I brought these. Yes, I know you did. did. <laughs> you have that one. I brought two four hey, packs. His wife's got to have one. She's got to have one. Right. I'm <laughs> telling you, I'm cool. That I get it. I'm so, good because they are very good. They are good. And uh, that night when I went to the Old Armor uh, Beer Company, yeah. it was like it was on tap. Your kid doesn't have ears, does he? Oh my gosh. Um, and it was like really good. And but the thing, the vibe there was all these people yes. were there, and you were there taking pictures and all that. And it was just people were just so happy to be there and see you and, and support the Earnhardt Outdoors and the veterans. It's got a great vibe. It does. I mean, even like if you go there tonight, it's the same vibe. Everybody's right. having a good time yeah. and enjoying it. They like being there. Um, and I think it's just atmosphere, knowing you know what this uh, beer company is about. Yep. You know about the veterans and supporting locals. Um, and they, they do, they, I've seen some veterans that they have went and actually, you know, built ramps uh, for them when it was in high uh, uh, wheelchairs. wheelchairs. And then uh, I've seen them go and, you know, actually almost built a home, put a new yeah. roof on wow. his house and everything right. for veterans. So, you know, it's not just medical and, you yeah. know, yeah. they do a lot. So it's, it's really neat. And, and the guys do. who own this, that's their own. That's their own. They're taking care of their own. Yes, yep. exactly. yes and that's yeah. what that, love veterans. one was uh, Army and one was Marines. Yep. And, you know, they, you know, they support every, every branch Good. out there. Nice. Um, Very nice. So your, your racing career, when that started to like, you realize you're, you're hit and miss, you're doing truck racing for a while. Right. When you realize it's like, okay, it's time to like, Step behind, up from the wheel. How was that? I mean, it's it's the toughest well, part. So it was it was hard in a sense, but in, in no way it wasn't because I had two boys that I missed growing up, and I had two daughters coming up. Right. And you know, I just knew that you know life's short, and family is what I'm a you know I'm about, and I appreciate my family, and I wanted to be part of them growing up in you know high school sports and junior high sports and everything. It was volleyball for them, mm -hmm. and then you know my youngest went into rodeo stuff. So uh, I wanted to be all part of that. Right. I wanted to be the volleyball dad that was arguing with the volleyball mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We played late going in the high school. And we were, that was our rival. I was ready for that. Your horse. My, my veins would be popped out. Of the Come on, mom. mom. Who's that crazy bastard? Let's carry her. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. but, but it was just walking <laughs> death grip thing going out here. We had some good times, and, and I enjoyed it. And I wish I'd have had them times with my boys. Well, right. But so. you know, now you, you can. So did you play sports in high school at all? I did. I played baseball and football and wrestling. Okay. That's a good three, huh? Yeah, I had right. fun. What did you play in football? What position? Well, I was running back. All right. And I played a little quarterback, too. Okay. My stepdad, Jack Key, he was uh, the coach for my baseball and my football. So okay. I can see you pro you're probably a pretty good baseball player. Huh? I love baseball. Yeah. yeah. What position? I was a good wrestler. I played all of them baseball. Okay. Yeah, wherever they need me. <laughs> I quickly realized that my, my love of sports was going to be reduced to writing and announcing about it because... Swim team, hey, we need an announcer. Oh, okay, I'll do it. I was off it. Basketball, I got cut, announcer. <laughs> so finally I realized, you know, I think I'm just going to be on the, you know, the other side of the whole thing. So well, you're good at it. So well, yeah, I tried to I mean, you feel. Well, people say, did you play football? I said, I was on the team. <laughs> <laughs> when the score, I went out for football. Buddy, you know, I wrestled in high school, yeah. and wrestling was before football. And I went, or, I mean, That's football was before cool, wrestling. Yeah. And my buddy says, go out, go out for football just, just to get the exercise. Sure, yeah, I went out for football for a day <laughs> because I was four foot eight <laughs> and I took one pounding uh -huh. from some lineman. Right. And I was like, oh. <laughs> well, I mean, look, look at me. I was 125 pounds when I graduated high school. Okay. Imagine, what, imagine what I was in junior high and everything. And yeah. I mean, some big boys were just going to do it. Right. right. You just cut cool. them out under their feet, they ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I was. Yeah, I couldn't cut him out. I was, graduated. Wait, yeah. uh, no, go ahead. Yeah, I'll tell you. I graduated one seventy five. I'm two twenty five. I'm one eighty. 
Oh, okay, so I, I, I was a hundred pounds when I graduated see? from high school. So they had to tie you down on a windy day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, Dave, Dave, Chanette, Dave, Chanette, Dave Chanette says uh, our speedway stuff was crazy fast. You are actually right. Absolutely. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Diane, you're great behind the mic, Tim. Yeah, we all know that. Uh, uh, Tom Beatty, our number one fan. This guy is from Jersey. He actually drove down a few weeks ago to do a special show with us oh, on wow. Saturday at Lake North Patio Super Game nice Room. Guy. Super nice guy. Um, hey, Carrie, this is a uh, number one PTR fan. Just run the board at Pay It Forward. So he's like, I guess, you yep. come on down. Um, well, they'll do it. Okay, so, so what are you do, doing now? You've got with the, the beer company the you, got, you got the home still right. so you got the house that home. all that straight now you got it you're good yep Schumacher homes those homes are beautiful by the way thank you I mean I went and saw the ones they have at Mooresville there yeah. I'm telling you that's a group great group of people right. with uh, Schumacher homes they, they're fabulous and do a fantastic job right. and, um, you had to fight for that one a little bit didn't you yeah, well, you yeah. know, I'm worth the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed it. Yeah, and, that's we're, right. and we're you know, still going forward with what we're doing. And right. You know, good. That's good to hear. Carrying on with the Earnhardt Outdoors and then the Earnhardt Collection. So the Earnhardt Outdoors, is there someplace people can go check it out? Is there like a well, website? Well, we just started on Facebook okay, and uh, Instagram. And we're, like I said, okay. we just started to rebuild everything, good. trying to build it back up. And, you know, hopefully I have a lot of text and content coming up. Good. And what is Earnhardt Outdoors? Well, it's about, you know, getting kids in outdoors and people in outdoors and okay. bringing outdoors in. We, you know, it's what me and my family are about. We love right. outdoors. And, if you, you know, if I'm at home and I don't have anything going on, I'm outside. I'm not in the house. Yeah. Right. And uh, I think that's what's missing a lot these days is people getting outside. Yeah. Absolutely. These gamers and these like these gamers, yeah. these gamers are yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're gonna be outside. <laughs> they're pulling weeds. They're too hot. They're gonna get sunburned in ten <laughs> minutes. Um, Never too hot to pull weeds. So we had a question from uh, Alex Woody. Said, "What was it like racing your dad and brother in Michigan in 2000?" Oh, it was really cool for yeah. a few laps. It lasted. What the hell? I lost there. I lost her in. Yeah. We got loose and phew, hit the wall. Who's, was that one of Dave Marcus? That was a uh, Dave Marcus entry. It was a Delaware Incorporated car, but yeah. Dave Marcus entry number seventy one. Right. And what's so cool is uh, Realtree was my sponsor. Team yep. Realtree was yep. on the exactly. hood. Yep. And Tyler Jordan, Bill Jordan's son, just posted on uh, Instagram, and Facebook, that how he's been going around like like searching for this items and stuff that they've been a part of. Well, he just found my Team Realtree hood from Michigan race. The hood. Okay. Yes. Really. And Where he, was it? And, I have no idea. Okay. I haven't asked him. I just thought, huh. I said, cool, because that, that race always pops up in conversations, you know. Sure. And well, I think cool find he had. It wasn't so much the race. I mean, nothing against you, but it was the photo beforehand. Well, no, what, uh, this, the fun thing for me about it was is I out-qualified Dad and put him in a provisional. He had to take P1 provisional. Then there was that. Because I out-qualified him. And that's saying a lot, you know. Right, yeah. This is my first... Cup race, so yep. you know. I did, I'm pretty I, sure I had the car out come race. out of our shop. I know it did. That's so, what I'm saying. Yeah, he was like probably yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So my team beat my children. Yeah. Did he say something about that, or was it just kind of like well, a, he just knew, he said it gonna last long? And it did. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 he was on me, me for I knew it. Right. Right. That's why I'm in the wall. Jeez. So I'll, I think I'm, I'm gonna tell you a story about that car. <laughs> and uh, you probably don't know this. Your dad bring that car into the fab shop one afternoon, and he said, "I need volunteers." It was wrecked. Yeah. He said, "I need volunteers to to work on this car. It's a Dave Marcus car. We're gonna we're gonna. I need volunteers to work on the car, and for Carrie to run at Michigan." So, Paul, I said, "All right, who wants to do this?" I think myself, Tim, there was about, there was about five of us. Yeah. We all jumped on it. We worked on it, got it done. Your dad came in after we got it done and said, all right, Paul, who worked on that car? And Paul said, everybody in here, you know, Paul was like, yeah, because some of the guys couldn't, right. Right. you know? Yeah. And we were all cool with this. Right. This is how DEI was. We were all cool with it. Uh, your, your dad gave Paul a little bit of, he gave my envelope. And and Paul distributed that envelope amongst us yeah. in in, a, in, a, in the way he seen fit, and it was a really nice little bonus. Yeah, and, that, and that's my dad was. That's the way he stood up on a table. 
You got it. You know, we had tables in the back shop. They were four foot tall. Right. All right, who worked on that car? Like you he know, needed to stand up on a table, right? Yeah, yes. uh, like yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody's looking at you already. Right. <laughs> And they ain't gonna say nothing back to you. That was him. You We're know. all scared to death, but, you but, know. But he he wanted to probably be very emphatic. Right. And he's like he's making a point. I mean, yeah, he yeah. made a point. He, he wanted to show. And it was right. a good deal. He and was, we would have done it for free. Right. We didn't even know. Right. We so it's like after fact. Yes. Yeah. We we were doing it because we all were behind you all right. the time. Yeah. And I wish we could have continued on there. Yeah. You know what we had planned uh, for twenty twenty. Yep. Uh, for two thousand two and yep. future and stuff, but. Yeah, all that changed. So th there was a nickname that you speak and help yeah, me out. Yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> there was a nickname. So I know you want to say it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. all right, so it came out publicly in a Talladega race, yeah. and you passed Dale Jr. and Dale Jr. comes on the radio and goes, "Man, look at Lamont go!" Right. And we all, went, you know, did our weeks we knew. Mm -hmm. Well, I was working, you know, I was the media guy, whatever. And Dick Bergen comes up, taps me on the show, he goes, "Who's Lamont?" I went, "Oh." He goes, what's Lamont? Like? Right. I went, I look back and I go, and I mean, Dick Bergen's my mentor. I love the guy to pieces. I go, I'll tell you after the race. He goes, come on. I go, I'll tell you afterwards because I didn't want to, I didn't know what it was for you, right. how it meant. But I, I didn't know. Mean, I didn't want to, I know, I know, but I was being considered. I know. And all of a sudden, everyone's chuckling. And so the Lamont thing was because. Well, when I run ARCA there, I, actually, I came to Dad that there all my struggles and other teams and Fitz Bradshaw and everything. I come to Dad and said, look, dude, I said, I want to race for you. I said, I haven't got the opportunity to race for you. I want to race for you. It was, you know, three-wheelers, mini bike, motorcycle, go, go, uh, lawnmower, whatever. I just want to race for Donald Hill Corporate. Yeah. And he said, let me think about that. So that's when we put the ARCA deal together. He said, you know, we're going to build this ARCA program, but you're going to work on it. Yeah. And you're going to find parts that you need on your own it's not just going to be handed to you right. so we have this warehouse where after every race these cup guys ran they would strip the cars down and replace rotors and calipers mm -hmm. and everything and the old ones would go on the shelf right. but the moment's only got 500 miles on them right. at the most so hey that's great market so i'm yeah. going through this where i had a key to the warehouse so i'm going through this warehouse getting all these parts and building these cars and yeah. Yeah, show sure. we went and I think we had the whole field of uh, Pogan and Lab to set for second place car, yeah. and we were three quarter track ahead of him. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, it was, it was a so, so you with, went to the with, junkyard with the junkyard parts. So yes. Lamont comes from and that's right. Sanford, 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 Funny yeah, he did. He'd, he'd come up at lunch at the trophy room there and he'd go, So, Pacman? And he'd have some funny <laughs> type thing come out from yeah. out of nowhere. And uh, uh, he was he was always so good, but it's like if you need to talk to him. Oh, the funny thing he used to do to me is like people call and complain about something. Like when Dale Jr. wasn't having good. He goes, Hey Tim, this calls for you and I hang up. What the hell's up with that, Hank? Are you son of bitch? And that? I'm like, Who's who this? So I heard it. And I'm like, and I'm, it was, but it was like a recording. Right. So I go, I go, why do you pass them on to me? He goes, I don't want to be the only one to take those calls. You're the communications <laughs> guy. I'm like, I ain't calling him back. He goes, yeah, I get it. <laughs> yeah, that's how he was. Uh, oh, God. With me, it was it, a white T-shirt, so I, I didn't like to wear right. my, my my shirt, shirt yeah, from Cintas, yeah. and I wore the white T-shirts, and I'd walk into parts, and Randy go, go get worn three medium shirts. <laughs> The medium shirt. I would get the medium t shirt. Oh, the t shirts. Right. Yeah, because yeah, I don't like wearing yeah, the you know. He right. knew what I was there for almost right. all the time because I didn't yeah. ask him for nothing, you yeah. know. Well, they used to have everyone's name. Remember oh, the old one? I, I know. Right. Yeah. And then they got rid of that. So everybody became buddy, buddy. because I yeah. couldn't remember. Who's your buddy? Who's your buddy? Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. Hey, man. What's going on? Hey, man. Hey, pal. Hey, man. What's going on? My DEI brother. Um, What's it like for you to drive by that place now? And I'll I share. Mean, I'll share for mine. Yeah, it's, it's heartbreaking because you know, I knew all the years that Dad worked to build what he built, and you know his pride and passion he put into it, yep. and where it's at now is not what he had right. planned. planned. Yeah. Right. 
So I say the same thing. Yeah. I, I seen the fence rusting a few years ago, and I was like, "Yeah, man, yeah. you're you know, because your dad was so uh, uh, everything had to be pristine, right. you know." Yeah. And I, I'm driving by, going to the wind tunnel one day, and I see some some the fence is flaky. They they went back and painted it. They yeah, they hurt me. Yeah, yeah. The fence is years ago, They went sandblasted and yeah. everything. Yeah, it, it, it's like so, stuff like that. That's what they would do. You know? Yeah. But yeah. it wouldn't have been that long. It no. Been right then. Right. You never, it never got that. No. You know. I drive by there and I remember the Dale and her days. Yeah. And there just massive amounts of people on the front lawn and right. the stages. And I, I look at my office and and it was, you know, the outdoor. Right. You walked outdoors if you had to go next door. You had to walk out and go next door to see Steve Crisp or go out to go to the aid shop. Right. And, and you just, all the bustle and there was a few cars there. And I know I still got some stuff going on, but I mean, the front door was constant always, swing with people. Yeah. Going to the gift shop yeah, and everything. Gates were always open. Yeah, wore them out. Open right. and closing. Right, day. exactly. And that's just my thought. It's yeah. like, like you, you think whatever. So when we did that Highway Three reunion show, um, the garage shop, I asked one question that was really poignant. I said, "If we could go back and do it again, and someone came and said, hey, Dale slash Carrie, we're going to start down and incorporate it over again.' What was the answer, Ward? If people would go, if they would." If, 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 we had back, he would come. if it came back up again and we had an opportunity to go. Are you putting me in a spot? I'm, I'm just saying, a lot of people said they would go do it. What would, right. oh, 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 if, if I would go, 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 go back, back there to work? Oh, yeah, in a heartbeat. Right. I mean, yeah. just Tomorrow. pretend you had nothing Tomorrow. to do. Tomorrow, if it was like Dale Jr. Yeah. or Dale if, Jr. If, or yeah, if, 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 the, if the three of you kids, uh, uh, yourself, Dale Jr., and, right. and your, your sister Kelly, opened that back up and said, we want to hire you, you, you. Oh, I, I would tell Pesky, hey man, sorry I'm out. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, but if you know, you're there. But I mean, I don't yeah, want to bring Pesky to it. In, a, in, in the, your dream world, that would be awesome. You know, right. The you, challenges that you have ahead of you, though. But you know what? I think you know we all work together so but well. We, we, I mean, it could happen. Sure. Yeah. It'd be insane. It'd be. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, we have to open that. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be arguing with Cram again, but. I, <laughs> That thing would be, <laughs> be on fire right now. The <laughs> world. Right. Um, we got questions. If you have questions right now, we're just talking amongst ourselves. We have questions, some coming in here. Uh, Carrie from Bev Shannon, do you watch Jeffrey Race? And if so, do you get nervous for him as a dad? No, I don't get nervous as a dad. Um, I, I really don't watch racing much anymore. Um, every now and then I'll sit and watch it. And, but I always got it on my phone, NASCAR. Uh, app. I yep. go there and I've got his name and number as highlighted so I know it's right at the top. shows where yep. he finished and where he's running. So I always follow it that way. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, at least you're following. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Um, Alex Wood says, Hank Parker Jr. is still a part of Earnhardt. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Hank no. Parker Jr. He's not? Okay. So we had we had an <laughs> Earnhardt Outdoors podcast. Okay. And, and, okay. We did, okay. and it was me and Hank Parker Jr. Yep. yep. And, um, we had a lot of good times. We just talked a lot about hunting, fishing, and you know, outdoors, and we had great times and all. But at the end, there's only so much you talk about that. Right. So <laughs> made it for, I think we had two years because State Year LW, my brother-in-law came on as co-host because St. Parker Jr. went on doing some other things he was doing, uh, involved a lot of traveling and stuff. Right. So we uh, carried on with LW and had a few good guests on there, and then. We kind of just went to the wayside with that. Yeah, like, well, that's when things kind of started going south with the right. uh, outdoors. So, yeah. But now you got it back, and it's yours, and yeah. you're, you're heading up your spirit. Yeah. Well, that's good because you you know you're yeah. big in the hunting, fishing, and all that stuff. Yeah, I don't do as much as I used to because all the running around with rodeo stuff. Yeah, just been gone for a month. And Jeez. And just you know, it's a lot a lot different than what it was back in the days. Yeah. So we're taking your questions. We got a few minutes left here. Um, I was going to just ask you. Damn, I had a question. Yeah. You got a question? I just. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, why'd you do that? I can't <laughs> really do that because I'm trying to. All these questions are coming in because you're kind of a popular yeah. guest here. Tonight. I mean, I, I know. I remember times I'd come over and sit with y'all guys and, yeah. and right. there, Gene Haskin, and all them guys. You know, I spent a lot more time with you. And remember Blair that worked over there? Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah that was the yeah. that was the guy that. It, real quick, so I was doing Martin Truex's PR. Yeah. And I was also doing all my other duties, and they brought me in for a little bit. Finally, I said, hey, can I get, like, compensated just a little bit for this? Just a small? And then I said, they said no. And then things happened. I said, you know what? I'm done. And they brought in yeah, Blair. Yeah. And he, he was a different bird. Yeah, but, you know, it was, all, it was all good. We yeah. all come, I come yeah. over and sit and hang out and chat, chat with y'all yeah. and look at what all y'all had going right. on. 
sponsorship you know, challenges you had yep. and what's coming up? And yeah, I got more of a comment than a, than a question. Uh, and, and my comment is, was, you know, after, after your dad passed and you put a white shirt on, Mm-hmm. And Carrie, Carrie started at at that time. I don't know what title they gave you or what they told you to that's do, but the liaison, right? That's, that's where I was supposed to go around and talk to everybody yeah. and take it back upstairs. And, and you did. And Carrie would come by us almost every day, probably probably walk by everybody yep. almost every day, and, and ask them how they're doing, what's going on, and are they happy? And I mean, I don't think you've ever gotten a bad answer, mm-hmm. but you know, but uh, I had some people tell me that things that, you know would be better. Uh, well, 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 it wouldn't be drastic. It wouldn't, be like, afraid of it wouldn't be like I want a hundred dollar race. Right. You know? No, it wouldn't be that. No, it wouldn't be like, like yeah, man, if we had this piece of equipment, it right. would be a big, right. big, big positive for us. And we were more afraid of what management was doing than what you, yeah, yeah. Could, what, what you could do for well, us. You know what I mean? What I wish I could have done. Right. If I had the authority to do things. Yeah. So, we, we, a you know, lot I of us. down a path that, I, that ended up being a different path. Yeah. So. I mean. I know guys that when Dale Jr. announced he was leaving, that they just flipped out and yeah. quit right. like that same day. Walked out same that day. Same you day. know, it was like, what are, you, mm-hmm. what are you guys doing? You know, I mean, okay, I get it. It's it's Dale Jr. and I'm loyal to him too. But you know, we gotta we gotta try and stay. Right. We gotta try and keep. You know, I stayed till the end. I stayed yeah. to the Gin and the Ganassi, and right. you know. I, I don't even want to go into right. what, what happened to me after that stuff. But, <laughs> right. right. You, you know, and then Richard finally helped me out. Childers, but, yeah. yeah. Richard Childers. Uh, Diane yeah. Gonzalez was like, what are you cooking for dinner tonight? <laughs> you, are you the cook? Every time I go to Are you the cook? I got into being the cook, man. I okay, love cooking. Really? Okay. Uh, wow. And then, and then I get in Lowe's and I go and doing my shopping for the ingredients and everything, and I would talk to Diane and a couple of the cashiers right. about what I'm cooking. They'd be like, what are you cooking tonight? And I was, <laughs> We got this recipe I'm looking at. So man, this is what I've got going on. And I said, well, what time? We're coming over. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's good. But they never show up. That's all right. Well, but, yeah. uh, now, Diane, I'm on this pro line thing. My wife and I, myself, we are doing to, you know, slim up, plans. cleansing and slimming up. We're supposed to lose about 10 to 15 pounds with this program. Okay. And it's a seven day deal. All right. right five-day deal I'm sorry it's five-day program you do and and I had every time I've done it, I've lost 10 to 15 pounds really so. what's it called it's proline okay it's hard dude it's hard it's like a cup of water with some soup mixture stuff it's right. nasty and then another cup of water for soup mixture stuff dinner it's nasty I gotta check in something. and you get a nasty. certain amount of olives right. for snacks and a couple right. crackers and right. that's it where are you going you, you gotta, gotta go I, I gotta check in something. okay fine um, so, so it's it's a challenge, but it's yeah. worth it. You know, like I'm come Wednesday or Thursday, I would be nice on this show. I'd be okay. careful because I'd be starving. Okay, okay. Well, we're just pumped. You couldn't right even. Right now, I'm not. I'm not. Even, hey, here's hey. the dog. See, this is what you get when you get good old the big the big hey, hey, oh, 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 Take over. <laughs> she will. There you go. Watch this. Come on. See, that's what you when you're barking once. Yeah. Come on. Uh, we got a question from Tom Beatty. Uh, what was it like to go hunting or fishing with your dad? Or your brother, both of them. Um, it, was, it was some great times. You know, I've never really done much with Dale Jr. Um, right. Dad, we would go fishing some and do some dove hunts together. Uh, a couple of times we went deer hunting, and it was always fun, good times. And Dale Jr., I finally got him to go uh, do an elk hunt. But part of it was he had to get up early, wasn't well, it? Part of the problem. I thought it was part of the problem, but <laughs> come to find out, you know, everybody that he knew to elk hunt it talked about how demanding it is on your lungs and how hard it is you know getting your breath and all this and stuff well i finally got him to go do it and it was the highest place i ever been to in colorado okay and dude we got there he picked we picked him up at the airport we got back to camp we ate dinner we got by the campfire and elk started bugling i went running back in dale dale i said what where you at he said in the room i said come on they're, they're bugling at what are you doing in bed dude <laughs> man i'm going to get up it's like eight o'clock he's in bed <laughs> Like, he never does that. <laughs> he, went, he went to bed early. So, that's so, the only time I got to do anything. Okay, right yeah, it's so, okay. False yeah. alarm. Okay, that's fine. And we had a good time. It was right. two days of hunting and he left. He right. shot one and I didn't. But, no. Yeah. I think we're Where, Where'd you go? Um, Colorado. Colorado. Elk hunting. Elk, elk hunting. All right. Dell Jr. Yeah, we can take he some last questions here. We're at the no, top of the hurdle. get a chance. He did. We're talking about hunting and everything. Um, did he drag it out? Yeah, he helped us. Okay, yeah, he, he done everything. He was all in it, man. That's I good. just can't give him good back again. 
Well, he's got kids now. Well, that's too much work, too. Podcasts, right? Yeah, he's broadcasting That's actually now. pretty easy. That's right. Okay. We, hey. do it. we got the truck right there. We oh, all right. right. Okay. Now, uh, uh, all right. Pack it you out. know Tom Mount? You know, I got a guy named Tom Mount, and he packs. Yeah, and we, he does a whole lot. Oh, yeah. I've done some packing before. It's, that's a lot of work. Yeah. Um, we're going to wrap it up. We're at the top of the hour. Oh. Hey, sorry about that. Hey. Yeah, sorry I'm um, leave. No, that's fine. No. No, we're good. We, uh, awesome show. Glad I saw the post on Facebook. But thank you. Appreciate it. Um, thank you so much for coming on. Thank y'all for having me. It's, it's, it's an honor and a pleasure. Yes. Enjoy it. Enjoy pleasure. And, Enjoy it. Uh, and t- you know, one of put the, that up for you. I'm not going to put this up. up. This is uh, yours, but... No, 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 I don't care. This is for me. We don't do that. That's fine. This is for my wife. I just want to say, one thing I've always appreciated about you is you're real. You you kept it real. You've always treated people so good. And you've always been so honest and so just... Down to earth. No hair. Yeah. And it's like, it's good because... it. It's it's a welcome sight because other people have dealt with the sport outside your family. Oh, no, I'm um, you're like and but it's like you don't need to be like this. You've always been carried. That's, that's what we are. I mean, why why carry be, down? Why be any different? Right. You know, we're family and friends. Right. right. So, that's it. So I appreciate it. the bond. Appreciate is, it. Thank you. The bond of that DEI is never going to go away. Uh-huh. I appreciate I hope it. Not. No, I hope not. Sorry. Uh, I got I got to check out that garage pad. Do you garage, garage up? Yeah. Watch, watch that. Watch that. I mean, you told me about it. You're going to be out in a few weeks. You'll be out in a few weeks. I'm going to talk about that. That's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> Tom Bates says, hey, there's ice in the bucket. Yeah, we got it, Tom. We got there's it. There's only uh, ice. It's all left. That's it. It's all left. Uh, John Hain, my uncle, says, what a great show. Good luck. It's just in the future. Great show. Great let's, show. Let's pump this one more time. One more time. I didn't get the drinking in I know. We're kind of pumped. Earnhardt Outdoors Al. Adventure with an attitude. Right. Old beer. 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 Old Just a hint of a little hoppy. I don't, I don't think you really got like lager. I think this you just got to try it. It's, it's good. See if you like it. All right. I'm good with that. I mean, come on. New batch is coming up Friday. So okay. New batch coming up Friday. Come out and join us. Nice and fresh. All right. Here we go. Um, Should we say it? Say it. Say good night, Dick. Good night, Dick. Good night, Dick. Thanks, everybody. Catch you next week with Dan Lynch. I'll be our guest. Wow. Hey, another great show. Great Thank show. you so much, everybody, yep. for tuning Enjoy in. It. We appreciate it. We do this every Tuesday night. And Warren, I think the guests we've had have been fantastic. Phenomenal. And the people that are following us, we appreciate it. We're reaching 42,000 people a month. Can you believe that? And uh, we appreciate you watching. Right. And, uh, We're having fun. Hope everybody else enjoys yeah. it. That's it. And this is just a fun show. Bucket of beer. Guys sitting around talking about it. So keep tuning in. We appreciate it. Check out our store and everything. But um, we appreciate you people. And uh we will see you next week, right, my friend? Yes, sir. All right. See you next week.